Greetings all, this is the J-Man from Metal Sharks. And today I wanted to introduce a video about small scale electrolysis. So I'm gonna start with one large round metallic object that I found at St. George Island in recent weeks and run that through electrolysis using a nine volt battery and some alligator clips, some water, and a few other items which I'll show in a minute. So I'm hoping that'll help me figure out better what this mysterious round object is that I found metal detecting. And I may look through my small cigar boxes to see if I have any other corroded or rusty items that I should run through electrolysis as well. So I hope you enjoy this one. So I'm showing you here some items that I think I will need to do this uh, small scale electrolysis. And so the main things would be some alligator clips and um, I've got to get those ready because I only have part of the clips and then some wires so I need to assemble that. Then I have a 9 volt battery and uh, probably use a zinc screw or an aluminum tent peg for part of this which I'll show in a minute. And then I also have a milk, a gallon milk container that I'm going to cut open and then I have some household laundry cleaner and laundry booster super washing soda. So I'm going to add a few uh, tablespoons of that to the mix, as I'll show you in a little bit. So let's give this a whirl. So the first two items I'm going to use out of all this is the milk gallon, warden, and the scissors. I'm just simply going to cut, basically cut this about halfway so that I can use it for my solution, which I'll show in a little bit. But I was thinking maybe for another video, could take a gallon of empty gallon of milk that's been rinsed out like this one and perhaps make it into a scoop for metal detecting. So that would be good for when you're traveling and you just want it to go light. So let's think about that for the future. So now I've cut the milk gallon roughly in half and I filled it up. Well, I put in about a third of a gallon of water. So my next step will be to uh, put in some of this laundry booster wash, washing soda, super washing soda from Arm & Hammer. And um, the thing about this too is I was thinking uh, some other time you could take a scoop, you could make a scoop out of a milk gallon, maybe cut away some of it up here. So that might be an idea for a future video that we do. And let me know if any of the viewers have ideas. Submit a comment about that. You could maybe drill holes in it and cut part of it away and you'd have a handy scoop. But anyways, let's get back to the electrolysis. So this is the J-Man again from Metal Sharks. And I just spent 30 minutes trying to get these alligator clips put together. And as you can see, that might be a little challenging because I'm supposed to thread, according to the instructions, the uh, wire through this hole, then up in here and around a screw. Well that's just, this wire is just too thick for that. It's 16 gauge and a guy at a local hardware store gave me a bum steer I guess because he recommended this wire for these do-it-yourself alligator clips. So scrap that idea. Maybe somebody on YouTube could learn from my mistakes. And I just talked to my neighbor when he came home from work and I don't have to go out to the hardware store again because he has these alligator clips which I just borrowed. And now hopefully we can get this uh, electrolysis small scale deal process going before it gets dark. So J-Man here again. I put uh, four tablespoons of this in my water which is in the half of the milk gallon there. And uh, now I'm going to take the positive which is the red. And uh, it's my understanding that Small scale electrolysis should be done out of doors just to make it a little safer. Okay, so I'm going to do this outdoors and I give a shout out to Bird Dog, D O G G, all one word, who has a channel where I watched his video today to learn how to do this. So I'm going to set this up and then I'll show you more in a minute. So I have this uh, find from St. George Island and it's a round object. It's uh, got a lot of corrosion built up on it. Some orange coloration. So I'm going to try to see if I can find out more about what this is. 
And so I've got my Duracell battery, red on positive, black on negative. And then on this end, for the positive, I've got a, uh, a nickel screw, I think, or a zinc screw that's made out of zinc. And I'm going to use that for the positive end just to get that in the solution. And then I'm going to put the negative end, as Bird Dog suggested, of YouTube. So I put the negative end connector of the alligator clips on my target. So I'm going to put that in the solution first. So this is four tablespoons of uh, water, four tablespoons of the uh, laundry booster super washing soda and uh, water solution about a third of a gallon and then putting in the positive now so let's see what happens here so I can see some uh, bubbles coming up there from the find from the target so I'm gonna give this about 10 minutes and then check to see how it's doing so there you have it got the electrolysis started So this is the J-Man again at Metal Sharks and it's been about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go up to the electrolysis and see how it looks now. Okay. Well, it looks like it's uh, still got a lot of long ways to go. <laughs> still quite a bit built up on it. So I guess I'll try back after about uh, 30 minutes for my next look at this. So looking at these cigar boxes, which I have filled with different types of metal detecting finds from the last few years, decided to pull out uh, this one quarter that uh, so so uh, caked up here that I can't tell what year it is. And then I also have a piece of mystery metal that's pretty dark on one side and then it has some kind of white material. And so I thought maybe that might clear up and I could see if there's anything on this back side of it in particular. I don't know if I can fit all that on one alligator clip, but let's see. Let's give it a whirl. So our metal detecting dog, T-Rex, is out here with me. He's a part corgi, part beagle mix. And it's getting almost sunset in North Florida where I live. Getting to be twilight, I mean. So I'm going over here. I haven't checked on it. It's probably been more like 40 minutes that it's been in there. So let's see how it looks. So you can see it's still bubbling up in there. It's harder to see with this twilight. And it uh, doesn't look like a whole lot has changed. I might have to get a flashlight or something. So I'm going to attach, try to at least attach the quarter here and then put it back in. Okay, so I pulled out the original find that's been in there 40 minutes. And I've also clipped on the quarter. And I don't think I'll put on the mystery metal. It just won't all fit on one alligator clip to do that another time. So I don't know, I'll check on this after a while. I'll probably have to use flashlights or something because it's getting dark soon. J-Man out. Okay, this is the J-Man again with Metal Sharks. And we wanted to check on our electrolysis. It's been about two hours and 15 minutes. So let's go see how our two finds look now after being in there that long. Okay, so. The uh, quarter, it's hard to see in this light, it looks like, uh, well I can't really show it, might just have to wait till we get inside, but just, let me get one more light here and try that. Okay, so as you can see, 
there's some black uh, residue on the quarter and there's also a uh, clearer spot so I'm thinking maybe if I use a toothbrush or something in another hour or two it might lightly clean that off and then not too much change yet in the other round object but I think it takes a while so I'm gonna try one or two more hours here there you have it okay so metal sharks here again and uh, we're going to conclude our electrolysis for today, January 31st. And um, it's been about three and a half hours since we started. So let's take a look. Okay, so that's how it looks now. And in a minute I'm going to try to scrub it a little bit and see if that does anything. There's another look. Definitely looks like some of the buildup has come off of the mystery metal round object from St. George Island. And I think the quarter is loosened up too, but we'll see in just a minute. J-Man again with Metal Sharks, and I've got the two items here, getting ready to just lightly scrub them and see if anything else comes off. And I wanted to show on the positive terminal that a lot of the uh, material that was on one of the two finds transferred over to here, it looks like, or something built up there. But it, that's what it looks like now. It was a nice shiny screw before when we started. So anyhow, let's give it a try here. So, we got, sorry. Okay, so we got that disconnected. And uh, I'm gonna try to clean this. I'll have to get both hands free to be able to do it. So let me do that and then show you the results. So I lightly scrubbed them with an old toothbrush. And I think the uh, mystery metal is still pretty much mystery metal. I think it might have loosened up a little bit, some of the buildup, but I still can't tell what that is. If you have any ideas, let me know. And then the quarter cleaned up enough to now I can tell it was from the year 2000. And I believe it says Maryland Align State on the back. So at least I could uh, identify the quarter better. So it was worth it for that. So there you have it. J-Man here again with Metal Sharks. And I wanted to check on our hydrolysis. I mean, 